Okay, so here's a quick overview of the Scotty N25 side mount. I put it all together as one piece. Then what I do, I loosen the knob slightly just so I can get a drill in. Put the drill through the bottom hole here, holding it in place. Drill that hole. Then I take the whole guy off. Just unscrew these knobs. Then this is completed, but I'm just going over it. What I would do is then go underneath with the backing and bolt this bottom one through just finger tight, then put it back on, drill the remaining four holes through, bolt this guy on and then put it all back on and it just goes on like this. So basically every time you go fishing, I leave this, this T slash L shaped piece here on my downrigger and that's all that stays on at the end of the day you want to put your tarp on or you want to drive down the road and you want to take them off um, they're they're on here pretty solid but when you're done you pop these guys off that's all that stays on your boat is that one plate it looks nice it's not an eyesore and it's got smooth edges on it. So that is basically the install of the 1025 Scotty right angle gunnel mount. Okay, so for this next stage, what I do is take this guy off. Leave those there. This come, this is the swivel that comes with the Scotty. What I like to do is, we don't need the base plate that's on it anymore. There's no point in just stacking plates on plates. So I'm taking the knobs off. Pop that off. Take out one knob. And you want the nylocks from below. So I just screw them in, give them a push through. Just a couple screws in, just to set the so just to set the threads. Get all those out of the plate. This would be a plate you would mount if you had a wide gunnel boat. You'd mount this plate permanently. In this case, we don't have that. So we take these four now we're going to slide them into here, which so under on the underside of this guy, we're going to put these in. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to put it that way. So I want the swivel button on a certain side. That's up to you where you like it. Mount that one there. This stuff isn't hard to do. It's just a matter of making sure you get the right piece in the right place. Then, this is the one I, there's one there. Um, Need something to poke it through a little. I guess I'll just use my drill just to just to hold it down while I set the screw in. There we go. The bottom of the plate has the hex for the nut, so you don't have to put a wrench on it. It's molded into the plastic. Let's see if I can do it with a finger this time. Oh, there we go. Suck it away. Yeah. So we get that tight all the way around. Now we have four screws on top here. These four screws come out. Keep those handy. Go to the bottom of the downrigger and there's the pivot back here. 
I've already pre-loosened it. So we loosen off this knob the rest of the way. Pull it out. That falls out. Leave those sitting there. Now we take the bracket. This is where you got to think about it. You'll notice there's two holes close to the edge, two in the middle. The ones close to the edge are the tall end where the pivot is. So we'll just stick those on. On there. On there, on there. You can use a screwdriver or a drill. You don't need to overdo these. Just check them after the first couple trips. And that is that. Here's the release right here for the swivel. So I will now take this whole unit, mount it back onto here. Screw those in nice and tight. Take the downrigger, set it on top of that pivot bracket, reach in from the far side in this case, get that into the hole. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. But that, how does that go? No, this is the other way. Let me double check that. So if this pops out, I just checked the other unit. Put the nut in first, then put this in. So the open end of it goes in and it's a nice flush finish on the outside. So I'm gonna suck that back. Again, there's, there's a spot for the nut to sit inside there, and that just sits flush there. I like to hold the, the rigger up a little bit, just take the pressure off, screw that in until you're nice and tight. And that there is it. I'll get it nice and close for you. Now to pivot, push this down and turn it wherever you want and it let go after you do it and it'll lock in any position. Normally I like to travel on the boat with it in this position facing straight back. Here's our power cord and that'll be our next step.